the part one of this video, we help this noob reach second C using the magma fruit. Now we're gonna continue helping him until he reaches third C. But before we start, just wanna share it to you guys. We just got verified in YouTube. Again, this channel is nothing without all of you guys. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Yellow. Gamer and is back. So for today's video, I am going to help this noob finally reach 3rd C using the Awakened Magma Fruit. Okay, so as you can see, you will be grinding your first 50 levels with the Cyborg. Go, and after that, you can now really start grinding in the 2nd C. For the stats, 500 melee and defense, 1250 Blast Fruit. So we're gonna start with the mercenary. Remember what I'm gonna say? Magma fruit is the best fruit in the second C. Why? This is the only strategy that you will do in all the mobs that you're gonna defeat in the second C. First, you're gonna lure and use either Z or V skill. And that's it guys. That's the Z skill. Just one skill, you will defeat your enemies. This fruit is so OP guys, I'm telling you. Continue grinding here. One more tip. Every two hours, head here to Blocks Fruit Cousin, buy a fruit, you will need a rare one later in order for you to go to the third seed. We're kinda lucky because we got the string fruit in our first spin. Now back to grinding. First, we're gonna skip Diamond because he's always dead in the public server. Just focus on defeating the mercenaries until you reach level 793 for the Logi effect on your next target, the Swan Pirates. Again guys, if you achieve log effect, it's very easy. Again, just lure plus Z or V skill and that's it. You don't need to wait for long cooldowns. At level 850, you will then head to the cafe and get the Bartillo quest. He will ask you to defeat 50 swan pirates. I was able to finish this quest in just 3 minutes. Don't worry guys because you will get 35 million from that quest. You will gain 3 levels. Next up, he will ask you to defeat the spring user. Guys, you can get a quest while doing this. There you go, Jeremy is located here. You're going to use your Z and V skill for the damage. And remember, always turn on your observation hockey because our build is mostly on blocks fruit stats. You're gonna do server hop until 900 and after that, the green zone. One more tip, I suggest that you get a gun to lure. The mobs, next up, the marine captains, lure the enemy, and again, Z or V skill. Guys, I'm telling you, the magma fruit is so OP in this update. Our goal here is to reach level 925, and after that, we're gonna start defeating Fajita. So guys, you're gonna do server hop here. Again, use your Z and V skill to damage, and also make sure to create distance. For example, this one, so that he cannot hit you with his meteors. There you go. Gamer Nome, what is the goal level here? Since you're gonna do server hop, your goal here is to reach level 1028. Next up, the snow mountains. But wait, the power of darkness has been unleashed. So fast forward it, we got... No, we didn't get the dark cape, black cape. We just got three levels. Okay, so here we go. Back to the snow troopers. Again, log effect at 1028. So if this grinding will be easy, our goal here is to reach level 1100. Next up, hot and cold. Guys, our log effect is not yet activated with the lab subordinates. You're gonna lure 3 here using your gun and use Z or V skill. And that's enough. You will eventually get your log effect. The goal here is to reach level 1150. Stat check before we move on. 450 melee, defense 700. 2300 blast fruits guys i used a code to reset the stats i want to focus more on the defense and again the blast fruits for higher damage next up we're gonna destroy the smoke admiral guys i want you to focus on the hp of the smoke admiral why gamer now just check this out first we're gonna use the v skill right okay next up the z skill after that let's check the hp let's check that out Less than half HP. Now we're just gonna do this twice to defeat him. Guys, our goal here is to reach level 1250. Why? Because we're just gonna do server hop. 
Next up, the cursed ship. So from here, everything will be a lot faster. Ship deckhands. How do you lure them? Just lure to here, to here, and use your Z skill. Or V skill. <laughs> there you go. Goal here is to reach level 1300. Don't worry guys, once you reach Logia effect, everything will be easy. Next target, the ship stewards. This area is one of the fastest areas to grind. Just lure three here, uh, four, sorry. There you go. Defeat the four, the remaining one defeat it, and wait for three to respawn. Again, everything is easier because you only need one skill to defeat them. Okay? Okay, so the goal here is to reach level 1350. Next up, the ice castle. There you go. So here, we're gonna start with the Arctic Warriors. How do you lure them, Gamer now? One, two, three, and four. And again, use one of your skills, Z or V. And that's it. Goal here is to reach level 1,400. Next up, Awakened Ice Admiral. Guys, let's check the HP again with just one V and one Z skill. Boom. Guys, more than half damage. Why? Check that out. The damage is still ticking. Boom. Guys, see that? More than half. This fruit is really OP, I'm telling you. I think this is my new favorite. Oh, we got the library key that will open the door here to get the death step. And the other key, <laughs> forget the name, to get this one, the Ring Goku. Okay, moving on. When you reach level 1475, we will now move on to our final grinding island. Yes, that island is the Forgotten Island. Here, we're gonna go straight with the Tide Keeper. Guys, he's easy to defeat, okay? He's located here. Just lure him. There you go. In this area. Wait, let's attack him first. Okay, so lure him in this area, guys. What will happen, Gamer Nom? He will not summon his Sea Beast and he will just keep going back here. Going back to his spawn point. Again, without summoning his Sea Beast. So there you go, just keep doing it until you defeat him. Guys, do server hop until you reach level 1500. Okay, guys. So once you reach that, just finish the quest in the Coliseum. Oh, we got the, the Dragon Trident. Okay. Anyway, remember the String Fruit? Give it to this dude in the mansion and you will be able to defeat Swan. Aside from the Bartoli quest, this is one of the requirements to go to the Third Sea. After that, go to the Coliseum. Talk to the redhead, King Redhead, sorry. And then defeat Indra. No, no. Half HP is enough. So don't forget to watch some cutscenes here. This one is really cool. Okay, after that, you can now head to the green zone. Look for Mr. Captain and then he will send you to the third sea. So guys, that's it for this video. Did you enjoy it? For those who want to grind fast in the second sea, I suggest this fruit and also you only need to awaken the first one, 500 fragments, if you are short in fragments, okay? Okay, again, to so all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Gamernome out.